Welcome back. Let's talk about the splitter cylinder. The splitter cylinder is mounted to the auxiliary of our transmission and is responsible for the 15 to 20 percent ratio change that we would use in low range of our 18 speed as well as high but only in the high range of our 13 speed transmission. If we take a look at the module picture we can see that we have ports on our splitter valve and our splitter or splitter cylinder and our ports are going to be from the master control valve into this passage right here and we're going to see another one come from our filter regulator and this one's going to have constant supply right into this port here and then we need a exhaust port so we can go into our high split position our exhaust port is right here the splitter cylinder is a fairly simple cast assembly with a spool valve as you can see in the diagram the spool valve and that's going to live right in here our default position of our splitter is going to be the low position and the reason why it's going to be the low position is the filter regulated air is coming in here it's unswitched by the operator the operator has no control over this it's going to come into this passage into here through this cast passage as well and be able to get onto the annular surface area of our piston. It's also able to get in from our regulated port into the center housing hole and that's going to act on the major surface area. Because we have that 58 to 63 psi on both sides of our piston, it's going to cause on the bigger surface area to move out and that's going to push our rod and our shift fork into the low split position. If you take a look at the piston, it's quite simple. There's two seals that seal the splitter. There's an O-ring right here, and there's an O-ring in the housing as well. So you can see the ring in the housing. And that cut groove has a seal in it as well. And anytime we take this apart, clean it up, we're going to use our silicone lubricant to allow for compatibility with our seal and allow for a long life of the rebuild. So in our modes, we know that our low position is going to be our default because air is coming in our regulated port, coming down through this port into our housing onto the annular surface area, as well as through the same housing into the major surface area, and the large surface area is going to win. When the operator selects the high split position from our master control, we're going to send air down into this passage here, into this line, that line, as you can see from the diagram, is going to act on the large surface area of the spool valve that's in here, pushing that down. When it pushes it down, the air that's in this housing acting on the large surface area is going to be able to come through this passage in the cast and come out the exhaust port. When it comes out the exhaust port, the only pressure left is the pressure that's acting on the sur annular surface area, and that's going to retract the rod and it's going to retract the fork in the auxiliary and move us into our high split position.